I am constantly amazed by the team over at Jupiter Exchange. Their founder, who goes by Wer Meow on X, is probably one of the most prolific communicators and builders that I've ever met. I'm not exaggerating. You just need to go look at his Twitter profile to see how much content this guy is able to pump out. And I know he's a space cat, uh, but underneath that, he and his team are serious builders who are driven by a mission to build a, a better financial system for everyone. And their goal is to build a, an exchange experience for consumers that rivals that of every centralized exchange that you've ever used, but has a custodial wallet that you can use. You can bring Phantom, Soulflare, Backpack, and use it there. And I'm so impressed by not only their team, but also their product. So I wanted to run you through a demo since we recently had Meow on the show and his episode should be coming out soon. And with that said, I'll just share my screen. I'm gonna go to Jupiter Exchange here. And you can see I still need to connect my wallet, but I'm gonna walk you through their swap tool, the limit order tool, and the DCA tool, which stands for dollar cost average. These are the three ones that I've used before. And we'll just use a simple example of first swapping uh, USDC for Bonk. I'm going to connect my phantom wallet and we're connected and I'm going to buy, let's just buy a dollar. Um, something you can't really do on other chains like Ethereum because it'll be really expensive to do a swap for just a dollar, but it's super easy on Solana. Um, hit confirm and it's from the transaction swap was a success. Uh, so it's as simple as that you can select the assets you want to buy with, select the asset that you want to receive and, uh, you can search here for it, or you can pre-select some of these. Uh, that are already in the preset area. And then you can also do limit orders, which means you can set the price at which you want to buy. So buy bonk at rate of uh, this price down here in USDC. I can set it to never expire. So it'll just stay there until I hit my price target um, and then it will buy me the bonk. Or I can say, hey, after 10 minutes, don't uh, you know expire this, this uh, limit order that I have. And again, it, this one is just as easy as setting as the swap is. So I can just... Uh, just to use what's preset here, I can just hit place limit order and sign the transaction and boom, that order is set. It's processing down here, submitting the transaction, uh, but that's gonna go and it will say whether or not it's been filled um, and give me some actions down here that I can do, like I can cancel the order if I want uh, later. And um, you can see it was submitted and the user interface here actually automatically updated, updated async, which is, Seems obvious coming from like a Web2 user experience, but in Web3, this is something that isn't as common as you think. These little details make you feel really comfortable using the product. And then lastly, their DCA tool, dollar cost averaging tool. Um, I have found this particularly useful. Uh, for example, if you want to sell a token into a market that isn't super liquid, you can um, just set it to happen over several days. And same thing goes with buying a token. So I could say that I want to uh, buy $100 with a bonk, Let's see. Yeah, we'll stick with Bonk. And I want to buy it every minute, uh, every minute for over 100 orders. So every minute for 100 minutes. Um, oh, wait, that'll, that'll sit the wrong way. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work exactly how I want it to. So I can start every, every minute I'm going to buy Bonk um, every over at over 100 orders. And I can enable that and just start it like that. Um, and it's going to get me a hundred dollars worth of bonk over uh, a minute time frame. And you can see I had set one earlier today to buy fifty dollars when I was doing demos earlier. So every hour, and this one's set to go every hour. So the first order already went through, bought twenty five dollars worth of bonk, um, and it gives me this little progress bar to show how far along I am in my order and how much money I've set it to to spend. And then over here, each order is one dollar, one dollar USDC and uh, there's 100 orders. So this will happen every minute for 100 minutes, which is pretty cool. And I can close and withdraw my funds anytime I want. I'm not gonna go over the bridge and perps tools because I haven't really used them, but this is a good primer if you're interest, interested in using Jupyter and thought I would uh, share this video in advance of their launch coming up of the Jupe token. All right, thanks for taking a look. Appreciate you all out there and keep on building. Mm -hmm.